Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone a long time now, but I've decided to take this channel into a new direction. So it's going to be less niche focused. Um, there's going to be a lot more lifestyle content coming along. So if that interests you, make sure you like that button down below and make sure you hit subscribe so that you can see all of my latest videos. So I've been recently looking for a new cross body bag. Now I have to admit, I'm not much of a cross body bag type of girl. I much prefer top handle bags, shoulder bags, only because I dress quite casually and I feel like adding a, a crossbody makes me look too casual. And I, I find crossbody bags in general to kind of be a bit too fussy, um, whereas shoulder bags and top handle bags, to me, they're, they're easy, they're, they're easy to wear. Um, but I do own a few crossbody bags. Um, there's one crossbody bag in particular that I use almost like basically all the time and it is this um mango bag that i bought uh, maybe two three years ago and at the time that i bought it i didn't realize that it was a sort of dupe or a take on the celine um true off bag um i just really like the style and this bag has been so handy when, when, when it comes to things like, you know, going grocery shopping, running errands, going to the post office, you know, having to just throw this over a top or a coat made me think that maybe I need um, a slightly more formal, more dressy up crossbody bag that isn't as, you know, as large as this. I do like medium bags, but I'm also starting to get into kind of uh, mini bags as well. So I was looking for an alternative because as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but this bag, it's it's been beaten up. I'm not gonna lie, you know, it's it's been it's been beaten up, and I feel like she's almost too casual to wear out, you know, to, to nicer places. So I started looking for a new crossbody bag. So this bag, it's not real leather, and I am I was looking for something that was obviously real leather, very well made, very structured. Um, I like bags that have a shape. I like structure when it comes to bags. Um, I'm quite happy happy with this, you know, sort of half moon shape, but I wanted something that was more uh, square and boxy and cute looking. Now at 12 pounds, which is the price at which I bought this bag, I bought this bag for 50% um, off. So I think it was originally £24.99 and I bought it for £12, which was an absolute bargain. Um, I, I can't complain about this bag, you know, it's the, the, the hardware has started to chip. I don't know if you can see, but I can't really fuss too much over this bag. Mango, if you haven't, if you don't know before, Mango do really, really good bags that are influenced by um, a lot of the designer, sort of trends that are out there a lot of the, the the big designer names they do a lot of bags um on on there that are literally look like you know i don't want to say copies or replicas but definitely influenced um by by you know those designer designer labels so so yes i was looking for something that was cute and not too um bulky something that i can wear um, with a dress, something that I can wear quite uh, to a formal event. Um, so I had the, the picture in my mind what bag I wanted. It was going to be small, it was going to be boxy, it was going to have a very skinny strap and it was going to be made of real leather. That was the image that I had in mind. So imagine my surprise when I came across this bag. Let me just show you. You guys might be like, what, what, why is she so excited about this bag? This bag is, is not a big deal. But it is this bag, okay? This bag right here. You guys, this is the Coach Kira bag. This is their sort of mini camera bag model style. I'm just gonna give you a quick close up of what this bag looks like. So it has two zip compartments just here and here. It has two zip compartments, and then in the middle, there's space to put like a phone or, you know, bits of any sort of important, I don't know, business cards, bits of paper, anything like that. That's what it looks like. And inside, 
let me show you inside i can do uh, another sort of close-up actually if if i get time i'll do a cutaway it comes with a small little leather tab that's what it came with but i, I took the tab the tab off i always take leather tabs off because i don't feel like they look quite elegant in my opinion but it, so in the first compartment so in the front in the first compartment there's um card slots apologies for my nails i'm trying to um grow them out at the minute they're healing from a very bad manicure so apologies for my nails but i don't know if you can see in the front here there are card slots and then also in the back as well there's a card slot so you don't necessarily need a card holder with this um bag you can use one i use one even though there's there's still slots but you don't necessarily need one and then in the back in the back is just um it's just space and then it has the coach tab i think here just the coach tab right here but this is all the space and it is so spacious it's so roomy i want to show you guys what fits into in this um little little purse little i don't know what to call it bag pouch in this little pouch but it's just so adorable and so just cute and it just works with every outfit that i wear and every jacket you know there's some jackets that you're just like i can't wear this bag with this jacket because it's just it just interferes with this one it's so non-fussy and i love that the straps are so skinny and the reasons the reason why i wanted the skinny strap is because when i'm wearing it and i'll show you when i'm wearing a bag i don't want the straps to be fussing around my lapels i don't want it to be like bulky or getting in the way or like digging into my chest like i just want something that is light that is delicate that kind of disappears once you once you wear it crossbody you have to know okay you have to know what i mean but i was looking for basically i was looking for something like this and i found it so how i actually came about this bag was i was browsing on farfetch because they were doing a sale um farfetch do this they do sales like every now and again like just these random limited limited um time sales so i think it was a one day sale right so i was looking for this bag and i was looking for for um a bag <laughs> so at the time i was actually looking at the coach tabby bag that was the bag that i was looking to get a discount from um and then i came across this kira bag when i went into you know when you when you click you know the brand coach and then like you see all of their you know selected products all of the products that are in the sale um that's how i came across the kira brand initially but i get very anxious when it comes to limited time sales that i end up sometimes i end up not making a purchase or doing anything at all because i like when i when, when i think about something that i really want now i want to buy i like to take my time and really think about the purchase that i'm making whether i really need it you know is there something in my wardrobe that is already quite familiar quite similar um you know stuff like that i like to make conscious decisions when it comes to my purchases so i held off and i thought you know what this is a limited time sale but i'm, I'm a limited time sale but i'm sure you know it's 48 hours at least it's gonna it's gonna be there tomorrow morning you guys the sale was not there tomorrow the next day okay the sale was not there but at least i knew that i really wanted this back because i gave it time i gave it actually a week before I bought um, my tabby and I, before I bought this Kira. And I'm gonna do um, a separate video on my tabby bag because that bag is absolutely gorgeous as well. But obviously that's not this video. This video is about the Kira bag. When it comes to coach, I do feel like you don't necessarily need to run to get it because you know look they, they're on many different retailers in store and online and coach is one of those brands where you will always see maybe a discount for them they're not you know they they are entry level luxury is what most people would categorize coach as doesn't mean that they're not luxurious i think the quality of certain models of coach of coach is absolutely fantastic um and if you had told me you know a year ago whether i'd be you know buying a coach bag i would have laughed i would have been like why would i buy a coach bag but coach 
is actually the quality of some of their bags is actually top notch. So um, you don't necessarily need to run out and you know because you know all their bags are disappearing. There is usually going to there's usually whether on Farfetch or other retailers, there are times when they do discount codes or when they do limited um, limited limited times um, time offers things like that, and you can easily you know get the bag that you want at that time. But if I were you, if you really want something, obviously go get it. But you know if you can wait until there is an offer or a deal or a sale or a, a coupon code then um that's when i would grab that's not, that's when i would that's when i would make a purchase yes so the far fetch um sale ended and i thought to myself okay i could wait for them to do another sale or i could just go and try and find the best price online so i was looking around i came across this german website store now hear me out because some people will be like, mm, buying bags off sort of shifty, shifty websites is not really for me, but it's not. It's a legit store. Um, it's just a German site. They just do lots of different, like, uh, I want to say entry to mid-tier luxury brands on there. So you, so they've got things like Lauren by Lauren. They've got Coach. I think they've got Michael Kors. Um, those type of brands on there. So I found this website. And I'll leave the link in my description. I'll leave the both links actually. I'll leave the Farfetch link and I'll also leave the link to um, the retailer that I chose to, to purchase this bag from. Um, so you can check it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, and then I started looking online on YouTube for reviews of both the Tabby and the Kira. Because when it comes to buying things, when it comes to reviews, I like to hear the cons. I want to hear the cons of something so that I know for myself whether this is a good investment or not. Now I, I know that you know Kira is Kira Coach isn't you know through the roof. The prices aren't astronomical. They're very affordable, but it's still money that I'm spending from my pocket, and I want that to go as far as possible, especially now the cost of living prices and stuff like that. So I decided um, to sort of look online to see if anybody else had this kind of bag. And I found a, I found a, a few reviews that I thought were really good, um, and that it kind of, is kind of what pushed me. I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this purchase because I feel like this will this will definitely fit into my wardrobe. So if you're like me and you love hearing reviews um, because you want to know about you know pros and cons of a bag or pros and cons of a purchase, I'm gonna do that for you. I'm gonna do that for you in this video. So we're gonna look at this bag in closer detail and i'm going to talk about i'm going to start off positive so i'm going to start off with the positives first so like i mentioned we're going to go over and discuss the positives of this bag in closer detail the first thing that i love about this bag is i like the very boxy shape it has very 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 clean lines clean straight lines um it's a well constructed bag so you know most bags they're they look very casual they come with you know a textile strap um this one has uh you know it has very curved corners here and the piping sometimes piping looks too casual and this one just doesn't doesn't have that again you guys i apologize for my nails i am trying to get them sorted um but you just have to just have to deal with them for now um yeah a lot of a lot of camera bags in general they tend to look quite casual in my opinion and personally this one looks a little bit just um more i don't know it has a little bit more umph. it's not you know you know a a, a a mez birkin or a mez kelly it's not on that same level of, form, of formal wear i guess but it's slightly less casual than your typical camera bag. One of the things I love about this bag as well is how small it is. The hardware is not too bulky, the edges are not too round, and the logo is small, you guys. The logo is very small. It's very cute and something that you could throw on in, you know, into a much lar larger bag. So if you were to take off this, you know, this strap, it's, it's detachable. Um, it's removable you could throw this into a larger 
tote bag like uh, a level four or any other big bag that you're carrying I love that the straps are removable so you can change straps if you wanted to um, let me just remove this one over here as well so you can change it according to an event if you wanted to wear a more bulkier um, if you wanted to wear a more you know bulkier strap or if you wanted to hold it as a clutch or take it with you as a small purse even if you were to you know use it as a, a cosmetics pouch which i guess you could you could use it as a cosmetic pouch i, I mean i wouldn't do that but you, you could um that's quite that's very possible um and if you even wanted the smaller straps if you wanted to make it even smaller a, a smaller top handle strap you could do that um and honestly i don't I, I just find this bag really 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 versatile um and it could just be another one of your it could just be another one of your your clutches if you wanted to so that's another positive that i like about this bag so i really love the strap the strap of this bag in my opinion is perfect in terms of thickness i love how discreet and small the buckle is um i love that the strap is not flapping around it has like the two folds to hold it in place so it has the first one up here if my camera would focus it has the first one here and then the second one is just down here and i i keep it at the shortest um length because i'm small i'm only five foot three um, and it's a perfect, it's perfect height for me. It looks great as a crossbody and as a long shoulder bag over clothes and over coats. It's just, it's just a star in my opinion for the strap. Another positive is the color of the hardware. So granted, I wish it were more gold. It's sort of a brushed gold. I actually wish it was more gold. Um, I like gold hardware. I'm definitely a gold hardware type of girl majority of my jewelry if not 99.9% .9 of my jewelry is gold so i like the hardware of my bags to really 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 complement that um another pos positives you know there's so many positives i love that the the level of this i love that the level of this bag is pebbled leather um it's textured textured again usually i love very smooth leather but i think in this case the texture adds to the beauty of the bag and if it were smooth you know it might have looked a bit flat and you know scratches is another thing to, to think about because i wear this bag so often now as well you know when i'm running around throwing it around running up and down in london you know i don't necessarily want scratches to start appearing on on this bag so having it in pebbled leather is is a, a plus for me and lastly another pro is the price so coach is a very you know largely inexpensive um luxury brand especially compared to the higher luxury brands this retails uh, on the actual coach website for 195 pounds but on the far finch link below um on the site i think it's 156 so about 25 percent off on farfetch okay now if you had told me again <laughs> I think I mentioned this earlier that I would even be considering Coach. I would have maybe laughed. I'm not, a, 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 you know, a brand snob, but I don't see them as I didn't see them before in the past as like a quality brand. I thought they were more like, you know, like a guess. You know, the brand guess, which basically exists just to replicate other designer brands. Coach are actually good at innovating their own styles. Um, so they're meant to be an elementary a luxury brand and affordable and not cheap but you know affordable compared to the fendi and the pradas um but what pleasantly surprised me especially when you go into the store is the quality the quality of some of these bags rivals even even better than some of the gucci and high-end luxury stores it comes down to the, the you know the cut of the leather they use the style the model but i was very 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 pleasantly surprised and i i even like the logo you know it has this very old um i don't know old kind of vintagey style looking 
logo and apparently the history stretches back to 1940s um it is an american brand which i don't know why it took me so long to figure it out because it literally says new york here but it is an american brand but i used to think coach was uh, an english brand but it's not the bag came very well wrapped i'm surprised on how much sort of protection there was um when it came to sort of the hardware and the internal pockets compared to the other bag other bags that i've bought in the past um and i wish i had filmed it unboxing but to be honest i was so eager to wear it like i was just like you know boxing unboxing i'm sorry it's not gonna happen because i just need to wear this bag but um yeah i'm very very pleased with this with with this purchase and i will again leave the link below to where you can um purchase this bag i didn't purchase this bag through farfetch farfetch was was where i learnt of this bag but i did purchase but i'll leave both links um down below <laughs> now you know guys things are not always perfect and even with this purchase that i'm happy with there are some cons to this bag so the first one is the hardware the hardware is a brushed bronzy color i don't know if that's coming up up, up on camera but it is a brushed bronze color it's not high shine gold which is what i like um and the brush effect it just it's just not as it's just not as sharp um so that's another con the second con is the leather of this bag the you know it's leather on the exterior so in so on the interior is fabric i don't know if you can see in here so it says so it's the leather here and then it's fabric and it's the same for the inner compartments it's fabric on the inside which you know it's fine it's a nylon that's that's okay that's all good my problem is on the exterior the leather you can tell it's a low grade leather you can you can tell it's a genuine leather and not a you know a full grain and um you know the leather is not dense it feels quite 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 flimsy you know you know the bag is very you know it's very flexible it's very squishy but i wanted something that was flexible but the leather was firm if that makes sense i wanted like a thick leather um and then the last con is the zip so th this is this might not be a con for you but i am right am i right-handed i'm right-handed yes <laughs> i'm right-handed and i tend to use my right hand and allow bags to sit on my right hand side if that makes sense but when i so so this is where my bag is like so on so on a normal day this is how i lay my bags so my bag will be this way right on my right hand side now i like to use my right hand a lot to get into my bag it would be it would have been easier if the zips were on this side so oh my hands are dry wow so it would have been easier if my um if the handle if the handles if the zip was here so it would just have been easier for me to just you know unzip it and just get into my you know get into my uh my person what have you so that's the only um con or the only cons of this bag the things that i didn't like but you know i, I wouldn't say i'm being picky i'm just being um honest and i'm being um quite practical in terms of how practical this bag is is for you if you are left-handed i don't think this would, would even bother you too much to be honest but yeah those were the cons of of this bag now i want to show you um in my next clip what fits in my bag what fits in my bag
all in all i'm very very happy with the purchase of this bag now i have seen a prada version of this bag the leather is exceptional and the gold hardware is just like it's just shiny and gold but i think even though you know i could spend a little bit more and get the prada version i like this version because as somebody who when i'm wearing a crossbody it's likely that i'm doing something that is a little bit more um rough i guess I don't want my bag or my product bag to get scratches or to become damaged whereas with this coach bag if there is a scratch i'll be very sad but it's not like it's not like complete heart heart you know heartbreak because it's fairly inexpensive um so i think that it's a good thing in my opinion i think i'll still stick with um the coach one but who knows maybe down the line i might end up picking up the final one as well so that's my video for this week guys thank you all for watching i am planning to be more consistent on on this channel so make sure you stick around make sure you like that button make sure you subscribe down below links are going to be in the description box and i think that's all i have to say i will see you guys in the next one bye